will soon be able to use public money to pay for tuition and expenses of attending a private school. Governor Kim Reynolds signed the bill into law today, making Iowa the third state to pass a measure for private school funding. The plan gives all students, regardless of income, just over $7,500 a year in an education savings account if they switch from a public to a private school. There are some income restrictions for kids already attending private schools, but they will expire in two years. Some Nebraska lawmakers would like to pass similar legislation, more school choices for students and parents. Up until now, opponents who say this takes away from public schools have been successful in blocking the bills. Brian Mastry is live in the newsroom tonight. And Brian, will this year be any different? Lauren, it's really hard to say there are two bills that address school choice. One of them is very similar to what Iowa just did. And then there's this one, which has the support that I'm about to tell you of Governor Pillen. From the state capitol today, something resembling a scene from a Harry Potter movie. The scarves come with a message. It's National School Choice Week. Governor Jim Pillen used the backdrop to push his plan, earmarking $25 million as a tax credit so more lower income children can go to private school. That $25 million scholarship act will be focused on kids in poverty and foster homes and special needs. It's an idea that's been rejected before by Nebraska lawmakers. Last year, it didn't have enough votes to overcome a filibuster. Omaha Senator Megan Hunt says the bill comes down to the government interfering with market prices by using taxpayer dollars to make it cheaper to go to private schools, who, according to Senator Hunt, discriminate against LGBTQ children. The lawmakers who attended today's proclamation don't understand why Nebraska is one of two states that has not passed a school choice program. We're talking about kids who are in a zip code that they don't have any other options except to pay tuition or to go to the public school they're zoned to. And those are the kids, they might thrive in one school, but maybe not, and they ought to have options. LB 753 spells out the details. It's a bit complicated. We will post it on WWT.com to the story, along with LB 177, which, as I said, is similar to Iowa's new law. Let's go inside the numbers, John and Lauren. According to SchoolChoiceWeek.com, the average tuition for private schools is $3,600. That's for elementary students, $7,900 for high schoolers. Now, EducationData.org says Nebraska has more private school students per capita than most other states. On your side in the newsroom, Brian Mastry, 6 News. Brian, thank you. Legislative public hearings have not yet been scheduled for either of the school, the school choice bills. The 